Easter morning service call. Walking box down. Easter bunnies hopping around. So I had a dead condenser fan motor on this one right here. Um, it's all locked up. So I had to call the parts house to open. It's a hundred bucks now to open the parts house after hours, so that's not bad. Considering there's thousands of dollars worth of product in the walk-in cooler, so what I had was uh, the compressor was thermally tripped, so inside there's thermistor inside your compressor. It'll open up, so then you'll get no resistance across your windings. So it kind of protects itself. What I'm hoping is it reset. I've been gone for a while this morning. <clears throat> so when it was hot and overheated, leg to leg, no ohms. It's three phase compressor. So let's see if it reset itself. Uh, I'll get the meter hooked up here and we'll take a look. Okay. So I got my alligator clips hooked up. So earlier I had no ohms. So now I got 2.1, so it looks like it reset. I probably got lucky. I did grab another compressor at the parts house just in case. 1.8. That looks good. And they'll let me bring it back as long as I don't open it. And then 1.2. So there it is. So it did reset itself. <clears throat> so I will carry on with my condenser fan motor replacement right here. And then we'll get it all back and running. And we'll see how it goes. Okay, so I got the OEM Copeland motor. 950-026500. All you got to do with the old one is take the flex off of it. Add the flex onto your new motor. The old one had some um, push-on spade terminals. I'll put those on. I got them in my bag. And then we'll rebuild this. This one mounts onto the fan guard here. Okay, when you put the motor through the fan guard, there's some star washers that go under the nuts. Just make sure you get all four of those on. Get your fan blade on and secured. And the fan guard actually holds these ones in with the nuts. But I'm going to spray some coil cleaner in there real quick before I put it all back together. I'm trying to beat the rain. We're gonna get some rain up here finally. Kind of up in the redwoods right here. It's kind of nice, but gonna get some rain. So I'm gonna try and beat the rain on this one. Let me get this cleaned out, and then we'll see if we get lucky and that compressor runs. Let's see. Okay, I've got some coil cleaner on there with the fan out. I'll go ahead and backwash it, and we'll get the condenser cleaned up real good here. To it. See if we can get it cleaned out. It's pretty filthy. It's getting filthy. Alright, let me get after this. Okay, I got my motor reinstalled. Um, I got my spade connectors on here. Now I'm going to put the wire connector in here and we'll get it hooked up on the bottom of the contactor there. We'll get this all back together. Right, see if that compressor runs. Oh, I left the son of a gun. Yeah, grabbed a spare compressor when I was at the parts house. So the compressor up top lived, so I can take this back for credit. Uh, just wanted to have it just in case. Sometimes you got to do that. All right, that's all I got for this one, the Easter Shuffle. I got one more stop I got to go make. Maybe I'll film something over there too. I'll go to the next one.